it going guys? It's Mouse Ball and this is the Attack Mouse Nation and I'm here with my nephew's friend. He doesn't have to give you his name but he's a friend of my nephew's and this is the first time he's ever been in an Abarth. So we're going to go to the Mouse Ball Loop and he's going to experience this car for himself and give you his legitimate reaction. Now the car he has is an Acura TLX, TLX um, A-Spec. A -spec. So it's not like he doesn't have a fast car. <laughs> And it's turbocharged too with a, a Type R engine. Yeah. So we're headed to the mouse ball loop and he's going to experience for himself. We're going to put the windows up so he can get the full symphonic sound of this car. And we're headed straight for the uh, airport and we're going to see what his reaction is to this car. So we're going to downshift. second and then we're gonna try to blow into these curves as quick as we possibly can. somebody who's never been in one you know it's a whole new experience and the thing is is that from the passenger seat it's always that much scarier because you're putting your life in somebody else's hands you know and I mean we did a very undisclosed speed around that sweeper around there but let's just Dude, say it, it hugs yeah, yeah no. even when you were hitting it there it hugs you like, it's tight yeah exactly and um, I mean the seats aren't bad um, like in my Corvette, I used to slide yeah. back and forth a lot, but in, in this thing, it's um, it's fairly good, you know, as far as holding you in. And the turbo flutters always, I always love that, because, you know, having mouse ball sitting on the dash and, you know, just imagine him like, you know, chipping, chirping away, <laughs> it's pretty crazy. But, I mean, uh, what do you think of the exhaust note? Which yeah, is, it sounds really nice for a little for a little four cylinder, right? Yeah, it's one point four liter. It's a four cylinder. It sounds amazing. It's a very guttural and like I would I wouldn't sound. expect it from this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I think that's one of the nicest things about this little car is it's a very deceptive car when you consider how cute it looks and how small it is and how it has a whole lot of um, you know bottlenecks yeah. for performance like short wheelbase, um, small little 1.4 liter engine, you know, there's not a lot of things going for it, you know, so when it does these kinds of things, it is pretty, you know, funny.
and bring back to the inside and follow the line because the thing is is that right here this is where it's bad yeah. if you catch too much air you're done legitimate reactions is we're going to be heading back um, to your amazing accurate a spec um, what do you think of the car um, from a legitimate honest perspective dude honestly I did not expect that from this little thing I kid you not like at all the, the turn the turns were tight like even when in my car like I have it lowered on the BC coilovers and I upgraded the springs to 24 K's uh, 6 inch and even like I try sometimes every now and then to like hit the corners i mean you know i'm not going like crazy but like dude if it's a lot tighter and it, since it's so small oh, it's, uh, it's so good. i mean one of the nice things is is that because it's so tight you know you have a lot of room for error you know yeah. when you're driving so if you have a wider car you know you're that much closer to the walls <laughs> so you got to be more precise so this is actually a very user-friendly car for somebody who wants to grassroots it if you know what i mean like the miata for instance which is a, a perfect car yeah. for the um, you know uh, armchair quarterback or somebody who's just getting into you know racing these but what's really funny is that they offered a driving school for my nephew's fiesta and for this one when you first bought this car so like they they legitimately really like, put a lot of work into the suspension and the chassis and you know getting this car to actually hug the corners so i do appreciate that you know you do real realize that about this car because a lot of people really don't